Ladies and I had a conversation, okay. right? Right. I think the women want a little more. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Nephew Tommy is introducing two more singles into the mix. Clifton meets 42-year-old AP on a double date. We learn that she is a widow with two children that works as a holistic life coach. Clifton wasn't particularly interested partly due to AP being a vegan as he says he's a carnivore. I'm carnivorous all day. Hell no! 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 I refuse! No! No! I can eat vegan, you know, but it's gonna be on a turkey sandwich. Next up is Eric and Dakia. Dakia and the private chef both doubled in IT systems. Eric doesn't necessarily want kids since his children are 21 and 23 years old. However, he is open to having more. Ready for more. I mean, I am open to it. Now, let's start the Joy show. With the first group date, while Clifton and Joy hold a strong connection, it's clear Joy remains someone many of the men would like to know. Laverne is flirting with her and she is being receptive, but not necessarily trying to get to know him like she does Clifton. Is that what and we probably make a good mixture. <laughs> Pretty babies and everything, you see that? Make a lot of people jealous. You want more babies? Oh, we could practice. Their one-on-one -on -one date, Clifton was someone who Joy opens up with regarding losing her dad as he talks about losing his father as well. Yeah, I internalize it. I Same put it over here. Me. You know what I mean? I didn't really, I didn't really pour out until mm -hmm. maybe about like a year. And as for others, Sabrina spent time with Tori and Paul, but you can see, while the dates were nice, neither one are necessarily ranked her top connection. Sabrina was upset that Demetrius wasn't making a move during that tour bus date and in his defense, Sabrina, you should have sat in the middle of them. On the other hand, Wiley sat next to AP and with Wiley being young, it's a no for AP. Sorry. Joy goes on another group date featuring Ace, Eric, Cornelius and Decoya. Cornelius projected homey vibes and that has put him in the bottom two. And as for Paul, him being seen as guarded plagues him alongside showing himself as unable to handle criticism. But unlike Cornelius, Paul has a champion, surprisingly in Precious, who apparently has built up a strong enough connection with Paul to fight for him. And dear producers, why didn't you show us their connection growth as it's part of Paul's rescue storyline? Anyway, Paul gets to stay and Cornelius is eliminated. You are ready to love. Everyone seems to still be exploring. We're ready, let's go. Right. I'm now watching to see if Clifton and Joy's connection does grow. <laughs> Clifton and AP revealed that not all blind dates go well. Yeah, that's a good point. I want to see Dakea and Eric's bond grow too. What are your thoughts on the episode? Do you have individuals or couples you are rooting for? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.